Christopher Lloyd wants to know, let's start at the beginning. How does something like the sun even form or come into being the way that it is? So in, our, in, in the current incarnation, how does that happen? Yeah, cool. Of course, this happens all the time. That Our galaxy has you know, hundreds of billions of these things called stars. So nature has no problem making these things. And the star is made of gas, 100% of gas, and it comes from a gas cloud. We look th now, if we looked through the galaxy and didn't find gas clouds, we would wonder, where, do these, where are these things born? But we find gas clouds. Right. It's like looking around society and never seeing a pregnant woman, but you see babies all over. Right. You have to wonder, where do babies come from? Do you know I feel the same way about pigeons? But anyway. <laughs> oh, because you, you don't see baby pigeons. I never pigeons. see baby pigeons. Yeah, you're not alone. <laughs> One of the big mysteries of life. Where's the little pigeon? <laughs> Where's the little they're pigeon? They're just... They're just born whole. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the egg, it's a big pigeon. So either they're born quickly or, you know, so you have to ask the, these questions. But society does have pregnant women, and you can judge how long they're pregnant if you take snapshots of the culture. So that's what we do in the universe. We take snapshots of the galaxy at different times, and we find out there are places where there are huge gas clouds. Right. Gravity is gathering the gas clouds into, uh, it nucleates. It, if you get one part of a gas cloud that's slightly more dense than another, right. it wins. Gotcha. It's got more gravity than anywhere else, and then it attracts more gas, then it has even more gravity. So it's like Mexican food. I, I can't, I don't follow the analogy, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out on that one. <laughs> well, you eat Mexican food, yeah. and it causes gas, which leads to more gas. Oh, I see, there you go. I missed that one, sorry. That's that, okay. that would be the bean part of the Mexican food. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, so if you have slightly more mass, slightly more density in your region of a gas cloud than another, you are more likely to condense first, and then you win that contest, and all the matter comes to you, eventually in the center, as the matter accumulates, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. It's under pressure. Ah. Gas clouds under pressure get hotter. And eventually, it triggers thermonuclear fusion, and a star is born. Look at that. Yeah. Thermonuclear fusion. There you got it. So it just gets hot. It bursts into flames. Bust like, open. I am so hot. I'm just going <laughs> bust into flames. Yeah, and it's thermonuclear It's fusion energy. Right. It's not like fire energy. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's another kind of energy that you derive from the nucleus of an atom rather than from sort of molecules uh, right. breaking apart. Normal fire is just molecules breaking apart that have stored energy that releases it as fire. Right. This is different. Stars. We say stars burn, but we don't mean burn. Right. We mean... They're, they're, they're not on fire. They're thermonucleating. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yo, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's fa All right, All right. man. All right. All right.